But welcome back to the life of a Depop reseller and as well, just kind of my life. But it's only taken over a month, but we finally sold a pair of the Lee jeans. When I see this pop up, I was so gassed. I'm so happy I've actually sold a pair of these. I think the new photos have really helped these out. And as well, I added some more keywords about the fit of the jeans. So hopefully that should make the jeans sell a little bit quicker than they were selling before. I was also thankful for that sale because that sale is probably my first sale I've had in about a week. I can't go over how just dead my sales have been this month. Last month, I probably had over 30 sales. This month, I'll probably be lucky to hit 20. But I'm just going to put it down to the shops reopening. That's the only thing I've got to blame. But yesterday, I hit the charity shops and filmed another charity shop town review video. What do you think of them videos? Let me know in the comments. It'd be very much appreciated. But there'll be another one coming out this Thursday when this video drops. So whenever it does come out, I really do hope you do enjoy it. But today as well, I'm going to relist the about 30 items in my Depop because top sellers do really swear by relisting some of their items. Personally, I've never tried it before because it is a little bit of a stress, but if it's going to make my sales go up, I'm 100% game to try it. Especially after, as I've said, how my sales have been this month. They haven't been optimal. I've got some items I've got to list up today, but I don't think I'm going to have time after I've filmed the town review video and as well then edited it. But I need to head up to the post office, get this posted off and then crack on, as I said, with filming in that video. It is now Friday and once again we've actually made a sale which is so nice. This hopefully means we're back on the up. This was a Nike track jacket from the Nike track jacket bow. This one was so sick. It was also on a red Nike tag which if you have watched any of my videos before you might know I really like anything on an old red Nike tag. Pretty much anything Nike did at that time was so sick. But we're going to get that sent off today. I've just dropped a poll on my Instagram for you to ask me some questions questions. I'm going to do it in like a Q&A style video. I'll do it tomorrow once all the questions have actually come in. Tomorrow as well I'm going to try and take some photos because I've got loads of new items that need to go up. Some of the stuff I still need to upload from that Pre Love Key Live event that I went to. But let's get into tomorrow where I'll hopefully be answering some of your questions that you've left me on my Instagram. Which if you don't know what that is, it's up on the screen now and I'll link it in the description. I feel like I haven't plugged my Instagram in a little while. I feel like I need to start doing that again but as well hopefully tomorrow we'll have another parcel that we need to send out but let's get into the Q&A. Actually before we get onto the Q&A let's quickly take those photos I was talking about. I'm very surprised I was able to model all of those photos because a lot of them sizes were XL. But I think the photos came out quite nicely, if I do say so myself. This Kappa polo actually baffled me. The buttons are the wrong way round. You might be thinking, how can the buttons be the wrong way round? Let me show you. You see how on this polo, the buttons go this way, but then on your average polo, the buttons go the other way. You'd be so surprised how much harder that made it to undo the buttons it was just not right but as well I don't think I'm going to be able to keep this polo shirt now which is a little bit unfortunate I think it's just a little bit too small but I'm not complaining it's another item to throw on my depot but let's actually get into the Q&A actually before we do that no I'm joking this time we'll actually get into the Q&A big up to any of you who actually sent me questions 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 over on my Instagram the first question is from Vintage Immortal Clothing and it reads what do you find is your best selling items that you sell literally just by judging the things that are on my like recently sold i've sold quite a lot of t-shirts recently and quite a lot of polo shirts as well the odd track jacket and as well the odd jumper but a lot of those jumpers i think just sold where they were so cheap but i think now where we're coming into the lead up to summer i think i'll be sending a lot more like t-shirts and kind of summer accessories well at least i hope so because as you can see i've got one two t-shirts that need to sell and as well i've got quite a few back here that need to be sold our second question comes in from Had Ross Had. I'm so sorry if I've said that wrong. I definitely have. And it reads, Hi Josh, love your videos, mate. Are your Depop sales slow at the moment? Because mine are for me. Yes, they are. Arguably at the moment, this is probably one of my slowest sale months in probably the last three months. And as well for the last three months, it's even more gutting because as you can see by this chart that Depop have kindly now started setting up. It's typical with the first month I've done significantly bad. They've started doing charts. But as you can see, my sales kind of just 
slowly go up and this month they have dramatically dipped down. But as I said earlier on in the episode, I think it is just where people are starting to go out now and not really looking online for clothes. Where people have kind of been fed up just being able to look online, now they can actually go to the shops, they're not looking online at all. They also sent in another question, are you a full time reseller or is this just a side hustle, do you see this going full time? I think the thing is with Depop, I think I would only ever send it full time if I could make like two and a half thousand pound like take away from it each month, which I think would be very hard to kind of achieve. Like I don't really know how much kind of like top sellers or full time resellers actually earn and how realistic that kind of figure is. But personally for me, that would be the only time I'd ever take it full time or even consider taking it full time. In the meantime or otherwise, I think think it is just permanently gonna be like a side thing that I just kind of do alongside with these videos as well. But thank you very much for your questions, it's very much appreciated. And our next question from Lewis547 and it reads, is your sales on Depop still slower than usual? As I've just said, yeah they are. As you've just seen about the chart, they went all the way up, like they were slowly building. I was kind of hoping for like 50 sales this month but I'll be scraping 15, which is probably my worst month that I've had yet, which is a little bit gutting. But hopefully where the charity shops are opening up, I'll have more chance to actually get some more stock on, and hopefully that'll have more chance for sales. Well, at least I hope anyway. I just want my sales to come back. I'll take 30 sales a month like I was having before. I don't even really care about the upgrade. I was happy with 30 sales. But don't get me wrong, the upgrade would always be nice. But thank you very much for your question. Our next question comes in from Max Bellingham, and it really is your goal to become a full-time reseller as I've just said like I think I would like to become a full-time reseller but for me to actually become a full-time reseller I'd have to be making a substantial amount of money from Depop which I don't know how realistic that is but I think a big thing that would maybe push me to become a full-time reseller is if the video started taking off in a serious way which is kind of like the dream in a way if I could do this and do the videos so if you're not already subscribed if you could subscribe it'd be very much appreciated and as well drop a like on the video it'd be so appreciated to try and help me hit that dream hit that dream make that dream I don't know what, what makes sense more. But thank you very much for your question and as well your messages. Our next question comes in from Rescue Vintage. I'm sorry I've said that wrong. I'm not even going to say this time. I'm sorry if I think I've said that wrong. I know I've said it wrong. So I apologise. But his question reads, would you rather sell loads of items you don't like to sell or few items you do like to sell? This is the kind of dilemma I've kind of put myself in recently. Because before I was kind of swaying towards, oh, I'll just sell anything. I don't really care. As long as it sells, I don't really care what it is. But now my opinions have kind of changed on that. I kind of enjoy a lot more selling things that I actually like myself and actually stuff that I'd maybe perhaps wear myself rather than just selling something for the sake of selling it. Like that's why I've really enjoyed going to the charity shops where I've actually been able to hand pick the items that I want to sell. I can kind of curate my shop to be what I want it to be rather than when I was just buying like the mystery bundles and you're just kind of getting whatever you're given and just kind of list it up because you got to make your money back really but to answer your question in the short term i just went the long way around with that i'd rather sell things that i like personally now but thank you very much for your question and thank you very much for always interacting with my instagram our next couple of questions come in from st luke and the first one reads the biggest markup you've ever made i I think it would probably be on this like varsity jacket. I got it from Saeed Vintage like when I went there to exchange some t-shirts. I hand picked it. I think it was like seven pounds or it might have been six but I sold it for 60 pounds. That's probably my biggest markup I've had as of yet. That's my first one that comes to mind or as well it might be these Nike track pants which I got from Pre-Love Kilo and I think I paid like four pounds an item when I went to the first pre-love kilo event and I sold them for 60 pound that's probably my biggest markup actually but apart from that I haven't had really too many insane insane pickups where I bought an item for a pound saying and sold it on for like a hundred hopefully I'll start having a couple of them soon where I'll be hitting the car boot sales which funnily enough is your next question do you ever buy from boot fairs I haven't as of yet because since I started doing Depop more seriously we've been in lockdown the whole time so I kind of haven't even had the 
chance to go to any of them. Don't get me wrong, I really wanted to and I've been so looking forward to going, but I'm going to go to two tomorrow, which there'll be videos out on, not this week, but the week after there'll be a video out on. But next week, I'll probably tease you with a couple of pickups that I got from it. But as I said, I haven't as of yet, but I think the boot fairs are going to be where it's at to be getting the bargains. His next question reads, eBay versus Depop. Personally, I would say Depop. I know a lot of people prefer eBay, but for me, Depop is the way forward. I think Depop and eBay have a very different kind of like fan base in a way, if you want to call it that. I can't think of the word. Like demographic, if you know what I mean. Like people who actually use the platform is very different in both the apps. But for me, I think the demographic for the items that I sell is mainly on Depop rather than eBay. And as well, I think sometimes eBay is mainly just for items, not for clothing, or it is more for items and less for clothing, where Depop is the opposite. And as well for eBay, I don't really like how the fee system works, like how you get charged fees significantly later than like when you sell the item. Like you get charged fees a week after you've sold the item. I like how Depop all just goes at once. It all just makes it so much easier to track and maintain. So once again, to answer that question in the short term, I would say Depop is significantly better than eBay, but that is just my personal opinion. And then his last question, have you ever sold anything on eBay? I have sold things on eBay, but I don't really tend to. I think the last thing that I can remember selling on eBay was from my first pre love Kilo video, which shows how long ago that was now. And it was this NFL Green Bay Packers, like, uh, sports top or what? I don't know what you call them, like, jersey, that's the word. I only really sold that on eBay, though, where there's kind of more of a collector's market on eBay for that kind of stuff rather than Depop. I think eBay is the best way to go with items like that. But I think apart from that, apart from like these little NASCAR model things that I've sold on eBay, I don't really think I've sold anything else on eBay. I really regret selling them though. I really wanted them as some display pieces now. But what can you do? But thank you very much for all your questions. It is very much appreciated. And then on to our last question from Izzy Flynn and it reads, do you resell full time? As I've already said, I don't currently at the moment. But as I've said, the dream would really be to make these videos for you and as well then be able to do the reselling with that. But hopefully that comes in the new future. But realistically, I don't really know how long that's going to take me. I hope it comes soon though. That would be great. But unfortunately at the moment, I don't resell full time. But thank you very much for your question. But that is all the questions that were on my Instagram poll. Thank you very much for everyone who dropped me a question. It is so appreciated. It really does mean a lot. If you didn't miss that poll, comment down below any more questions that you have and I'll answer them in next week's week vlog. But as I said I'm going to be going to that car boot sale tomorrow so I'm not going to do a little like check in tomorrow but I'll be making a video about that which will come out very soon. So this is where I'm going to wrap up this week's week vlog. If you did enjoy it please drop the video a like. It'd be so appreciated. It really helps the videos out so much more than you think. And as well subscribe to my channel to help me hit 1k by the end of the year. You'd be absolutely crazy not to because you'll be missing so much great content like this. But I hope you enjoyed and as well i hope to see you in next week's vlog